Hello, it's hard to believe, but it's August and it's already time for the start of the school year. I do have your August board report. First of all, we did have our tax levy hearing. We do that prior to the regularly scheduled board meeting. And when we have the levy hearing, what we do is present the information so that the board can then make a decision during the board meeting regarding our tax levy. So the information that I presented, first of all, our assessed valuation for the FY22 school year, at least preliminarily, will be $1,205,630,195. This compares to last year of $1,113,299,833. So for FY22, our upcoming school year, our levy will total 5.4371 cents. So this is actually a decrease from last year of 10.1 cents. And I went and I looked back in previous years all the way back to 2009, and that was actually my first year in the district as the deputy superintendent. Our levy was $5.43. So over that time, our levy has only increased less than one cent, but during that time, we've also had a bond issue of $85 million, $43 million, and $38 million. So that fiscal responsibility, I'm very proud of here in the ISD. So then we did have our regularly scheduled board meeting. First of all, under consent agenda, we had bills totaling $10,182,511.39. Now, you will notice compared to previous years, this is more, but we, that is also expected because as we get finished with our bond projects, we do have to process all of those pay apps. Under superintendent's report, uh, first of all, I did talk about uh, the start of the school year. We do start school August 23rd with staff coming in August 17th. But as everybody is looking as we start the school year, you know, mask and what, how we're going to start the school year. What I have to say about that is prior to next week, we will have a comprehensive safety plan that we will release to the public, which will also include masks and how we're going to approach this matter. Also, under superintendent's report, I talked a little bit about convocation, how we're going to do that virtually this year. And then I also reported on the progress on our bond projects. Overall, they're going well, but again, we still experience some supply chain issues. In particularly, we're having problems with getting some of our lights, our storefront glass, and then some of our flooring as well. We hope to have a majority of the projects done prior to the start of the school year, with the exception of some of the very large projects such as the auditoriums. Under new business, item number one, we had the tax rate levy hearing for the 2021-2022 tax levy rate, and that did pass for this upcoming school year. And again, just as a reminder, our levy will be $5.43.71. Item number two under new business was the approval of the district tuition rate for the 21-22 school year. It will total $10,711.30. Item number three was the approval of the resolution to readopt Board of Education Policy 0342. And what this policy states is that uh, Board of Education members cannot have any conflict of interest whenever they deal with board items. This is something that we have to readopt every two years. Item number four is the approval of the membership in purchase cooperatives. This is something that we have uh, and participate a lot in. These are cooperatives that we use to help drive down the expenses in the school district whenever we bid on certain projects or supplies. Item number five was the approval to purchase classroom and office phones. Our current phone system is approximately 14 years old, so we do have a purchase agreement from CDW for $125,360 for 400 classroom phones, 400 office phones, and then 200 phone expansion systems. And the final item, number six, was the approval of the district cyber and crime insurance policy. We are going to go with travelers for this upcoming year for this, totaling $28,543. 
So that was uh, our board meeting for August. As we get ready to start the school year, I can't express how excited I am for the school year, and I want to thank everyone for all their work. I know we're gonna do great for kids this year. Have a great day.